I want you to imagine something. In the early hours of a massive surprise invasion of Taiwan, China unleashes its full arsenal. The United States attempts to respond, but it quickly becomes clear. We don't have enough. Not enough weapons. Not enough platforms to carry those weapons. Taiwan falls within weeks, and the world wakes up to a new reality, one where the world's dominant power is no longer a democracy. Despite the incredible technological progress happening all around us, our defense sector was stuck in the past. So I founded a company called Anduril. At our core, we're about fostering peace. We deter conflict by making sure our adversaries know they can't compete. Now, while we make dozens of different hardware products, our core system is a piece of software, an AI platform called Lattice, that lets us deploy millions of weapons without risking millions of lives. We also build counter drone technology, like Roadrunner here, which is a twin turbojet powered reusable counter drone interceptor that we took from napkin sketch to real world combat validated capability in less than 24 months. And we did it using our own money. For centuries, military power was derived by size more troops, more tanks, more firepower. But over the last few decades, the defense industry has spent far too long handcrafting exquisite, almost impossible to build weapons. Meanwhile, China has studied how we fight, and they've invested in the technologies and the mass that counter our specific strategies. We'll never meet China's numerical advantage through traditional means, nor should we try. What we need isn't more of these same systems. We need fundamentally different capabilities. We need autonomous systems that can ex augment our existing manned fleets. We need intelligent platforms that can operate in contested environments where human piloted systems simply cannot. That is how we reclaim our deterrence. This is how we prevent a repeat of Pearl Harbor.